Good day, everybody. Today we are going to talk about resultant vector. So I'll share my screen with you. A plane flies at an at an airspeed of 550 miles per hour on a straight course from an airfield F. A 30 miles per hour wind is blowing from the it should be blowing from the east, not west. What must be the plane's bearing so that after one hour of flying, the plane is due north of F, okay, north of F. So X component at 550 miles per hour is 550 cosine of theta. And X component of an airspeed of 30 miles per hour is 30, okay? And so uh, in order for the plane's bearing after one hour to be due north, five minus 550 cosine theta plus 30 should be equal to zero. So, uh, cos of the if we subtract minus thirty from both sides, we get five fifty cosine theta is equal to thirty. So cosine theta is equal to thirty divided by five fifty. So theta is cosine inverse thirty divided by five fifty, or theta is cosine uh, arc cosine thirty over five fifty, which works out to be eighty six point eight seven. Hence the plane's bearing, that is the angle it makes with the y-axis is 90 minus 86.87, which is 3.12. Hence the plane's bearing is north 31 degree west, north 31 degree west, okay? North is going in the north and the bearing is 31 degree. So it's inclined towards the west by 3.1 degree. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, uh, you can write me a comment and please subscribe to my channel, okay? Uh, this is because we change life one at a time through math education.